So here's your really short yoga warm up before lifting heavy things. So let's come to stand. Bring your feet hip width apart and find soles of the feet. Whether you're in shoes or not, doesn't really matter. But you can walk the weight front and back. So you find your toes and your heels. See if you can, even inside your shoes, if you're wearing shoes, press down the big toes and then heels. So as you do that, you may start to feel more in the legs. Draw the tail down. And then find the bottom of your ribs and the top of your hips. Let them come towards each other. So we're still lengthening in the back here, even as we find power in the legs. Now here you can actually take your hands to your belly and your chest. And as you press the feet down, take a big breath into your bottom hand, into your belly. As you exhale, hug the belly in. So you're cinching your waist up and in. And even the pelvic floor starts to lift on the exhale. Inhale, fill up the left hand, fill up the right hand. Exhale all the way out. Press your feet down. Inhale in. Inhale all the way to the back of the ribs. And exhale. Now as you inhale, take the arms, reach them out towards the side, and then up and over. So the palms face in, and then press down to the feet so you reach all the way up to the fingertips. Exhale, take the arms in. Again, inhale. So we're not losing this integrity in the body, even as we exhale. See the hands down. So it's not this. But even we're holding all of this in, as we take the arms overhead. So we uh, keep it mobility of the shoulder and similar to the core. Good. One more time, inhale up. Now exhale, bend your knees, and take your belly to your thighs, and then fold forward. So bend your knees enough so the fingertips can come to the floor. Press down big toes, press down heels. Send your hips, outer hips back as the chest comes forward. Then as you exhale, fold again. Now grab opposite elbows and soften the neck. Soften the knees, breathe in. Rock the weight more into the toes. So your hips go up, and that's how we, we uh, straighten. So if you're afraid of falling, you can take your hands to the floor. Send the hips up, away from the toes. Don't let their weight be in your heels. Good. Now exhale, fold. Good. From here, walk the hands forward, and then another half of the You can keep bending the knees. Now as you exhale, walk the hands over to your right. Press down into your left heel and send your chest forward. Good. Think about breathing into the back of your spine. Expanding the back of the chest as you inhale. And then exhale. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale over to the left. Press your right heel down, that's leverage. Right heel, hip goes back as the chest goes forward. So your feet press and then the chest reaches. Good. Come back to centre, grab opposite elbows. Now bend the knees, keep the belly and the thighs connected. Biceps and ears stay in the line as much as you can. So the head is like framed by the elbows. As you inhale, look forward, press the heels into the floor. Then as you exhale, fold. Soften the neck here. Again, inhale, press the feet. Inhale, look forward. Excellent hold. Last time. Exhale. Good. Press the, th the feet into the floor. Take the arms all the way up. Exhale. Okay. Here, interlace the fingers. Press them up towards the ceiling. Put that tail underneath. Find the tucking of the navel. Big breath in. As you exhale, go down towards your right. As you press the left heel into the floor. Slowly come back up. Good. Exhale down towards your left. So we're staying in a straight line, not leaning forward or back. Press the feet down. Slowly again. Good. One time. Exhale down towards your right. So make it as smooth as you possibly can. 
Niin ja yleensä. Yes. You're back up to center. Exhale, hold. Next inhale, look forward. Then plant the hands, take the knees down onto the floor. From here, we're sending hips up towards the sky. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the hands, drive the hands back towards you. To inhale. Then tuck the tailbone underneath. Push the floor away, squeeze the knees. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale. Good. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Take your tailbone down. Squeeze the knees. Press the thumbs into the floor. Now breathe into the back of the shoulder blades as you round the spine. Good. Next, inhale and forward. Good. Now tuck the toes underneath. Send your, lift your knees slightly off the floor. Press those hands and put the forearms towards each other. Look forward. Exhale, lift the navel. Now the knee. Exhale, bend the knees. Send your hips up more. Now hug the hands towards each other. Roll the shoulders away from each other. Let the neck be soft. Inner thighs come towards each other. So we start to push back. Now tuck in the bottom ribs and let the hips come back. Use your inner thighs. So inner thighs are coming in, outer hips are going away from each other, and that's going to pull your hips away from the hands. Keep the hands pressing. Take another breath in. Good. Exhale, empty the belly. Keep rolling the shoulders away from the ears, keeping the neck open. Okay, now bend the knees deeply a lot. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, use momentum. Right foot steps outside right hand. Then look forward. Exhale. Round the spine as you press your right heel into the floor. Inhale again. Then exhale. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press the hands. Sit back. Downward facing dog. And find the bounce straight away. So you have a generous bend in the knees here. That helps. So, exhale, inhale, forward, exhale, bend the knees, inhale, exhale, okay, use momentum, left foot steps forward, and inhale, away. good, exhale, run, press your left heel down onto the floor, inhale, drag your shoulder past your knee as you pull your left foot back, good, to last time. Exhale, step back. Now we're facing dog. Good. Now, step your feet hip width apart. Oh no, wider, all the way to the outside edge of the mat. Bend your knees, stick your tissue high. Now look forward. Start to walk your hands back. Turn a forward fold. Bend one knee. So bend your right knee, stick your left hip back. Bend your left knee. Take your right hip back, chest forward. Good, bend one knee and then the other. Nice. From here, walk the hands back to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees all the way. Exhale. Then as you inhale, set the right foot forward. Let the chest go forward. Good. Now, set the left foot forward. Send your toes out 45 degrees away from you. Heels are on the mat, toes are off. Now send the chest forward first. And then knees go in the same direction as the toes, as the second toes. Start to bend the knees until you start to come down. So it might be the balls of the feet first. Eventually, your heels can start to come down. You can put something underneath your heels here. Even, for example, rolling up the mat can be really nice. To set the heels on. Now, what we're looking for is not a rounding of the spine, but an opening as we press the knees away from each other. Press into the pinky side of the foot so the inner arch lifts. And here we fill the whole torso with breath. Good again. Okay. Inhale, 
back up. So if you pull up your mat, you can do that. But we're going to come back here. Step back first, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. As you inhale, step the left foot around the left hand. And send the chest forward, forward, forward. Good. As you exhale, step back foot forward. And again, do anything you need to to make this squat more accessible. Know that if you give yourself a break now, you're going to go forward more quickly. So drop your hips low as they can go. And then think about pulling your shoulder blades towards each other at the back of the body so that you can open up the lungs even more. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale, dive forward, heels go wide. Good. Inhale, look forward again. Exhale, lift to the floor. Good. Now, last thing. So that might be enough. Or, if you want, you can take your right hand down towards the floor or a block or something in front. The shoulder and the knee press against each other. So you're again pressing the knee out using your shoulder, trying to get onto the pinky side of that right foot. From here, lift the left hand up towards the ceiling, rotating the ribs around towards the sky and feel into the back. Good. Another inhale. Excellent. Here, the left hand comes down. Press that into the floor, left shoulder presses against left knee. Then you inhale, the right hand comes up. Good. Another breath in. Then exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Dive forward. Good. To give the hips a nice wee shugle here. Inhale. Walk the hands, oh sorry, the feet towards each other. Press them down and come all the way up. Now press the heels down to reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale. Good job. Happy lifting. Be strong.